You are not going to view who you think you are the same way after watching this video. For a second, I will ask you some questions and I want you to act like we are having a conversation. So, who are you? If you answered stating your name, you are incorrect. You are not a name. So, who are you? Pretty much any answer you give me is incorrect. If you were completely silent though, you are actually pretty close to figuring it out. You see, we have grown to identify ourselves with ideas and beliefs, and with our thoughts and problems. If I asked you to describe yourself, you would start talking about your age and where you grew up and what you do for a living. But you are not those things. How could you be a name? How could you be a profession? How could you be your pain? All of those things come and go and change, and who you truly are cannot change or come and go. Who you are is always here, and it's the same all the time. Let me explain a little more so that you can see who you truly are. So, say you suffer from anxiety. Anxiety is when you are constantly anxious about the future. Your mind creates all of these assumptions and fake scenarios to keep you stuck in your room away from expressing yourself fully. Now who is the one aware of this happening? You are the awareness of your anxiety. You are not anxiety. And the one aware cannot be the one suffering, because you're also the one aware of the suffering happening. And this applies to everything. When you are overthinking, who is aware of this happening? Now before this video ends, I want you to really experience who you are. I want you to realize that you are not your pain and suffering, and that you're not even human at a deeper level. You are about to experience what it's like to return to your true nature. Now, Notice how you are aware of your human character watching this video. Become aware of this experience. No thoughts are needed to be aware. If thoughts rise, notice how you are the awareness of those also. You're not a human becoming aware of a human. You are above human. You are so much more. Now. Become aware again of the music in the background. Just watch it. Don't judge it. Don't think about it. Just experience what it's like to listen. Now that you have a sense of being aware, become aware of your awareness. Don't focus on any experience. Focus on the awareness itself. You cannot experience this or understand this mentally. So stop thinking about how to do it. You are not your thoughts. Become aware of something and then become aware of the sense of awareness. And just stay there for a second. Keep returning back to it every time you fall back into thought. You see, whenever you are suffering you can just ask yourself, who is aware of this happening? But don't answer it mentally. Just go directly into becoming aware of awareness. This is who you really are. You are not the story of your life. You are not your past and mistakes. You are pure consciousness awareness. Any problem you have is only there because you are aware of it. But it's not who you are. Who you truly are cannot be affected by anything. 
because you are the observer of it. And no doing this will not cause you to start dissociating. This is literally you returning back to your natural state of pure love, peace, joy, and confidence. Sitting and becoming aware of your awareness will liberate you from all suffering because you will begin to realize that the suffering has nothing to do with you. You will start detaching from those limiting beliefs. It will be so easy and effortless to let go of things. You are life itself. You are the present moment. You are a God. The power within us is very, very powerful, and words cannot even explain the experience of returning back to it. Also, I need you to understand that you can change your human character and become whoever you truly want to be in this lifetime. Once you realize who you truly are, there is nothing that can stop you from getting what you want in life. You can change because you are not your belief system, because you can change it. You are not the story of your life because you can change it. You are not your depression and anxiety because you are aware of it and can change it. If you believe you can't, well, that's just a belief, and you can change it. Everyone is literally the same. We just have different beliefs and perspectives that create a unique personality. You are the creator of your reality. All of this was created just for you to create whatever you want. But you have been blinded. So make a choice and take the red pill and discover the truth about yourself so that you can take your power back. So just remember, whenever you find yourself struggling mentally or whatever it may be, notice what you are the awareness of it, and then go deeper and become aware of the awareness. And just focus on that. Let go of the outside experience and just look at awareness just look at your consciousness. So if I were to ask you who are you now, how would you reply? <laughs>